There are very few fan bases that understand decades of pain, but you can always find a way to crawl out. The Cleveland Browns managed to turn it around, but across the state in Cincinnati, the Bengals haven't had the same fortune, at least not yet. Baker Mayfield led the charge for the Browns, and now it's Joe Burrow's turn in Cincinnati. But first, this video is brought to you by DraftKings. If you're like me and you're looking for somewhere to bet on your favorite team this NFL season, go check out DraftKings Sportsbook, where they have player props, live betting, and same game parlays, and more. Right now, DraftKings is giving new players a bonus of up to $1,000 for their first deposit. DraftKings, America's top rated sportsbook, is safe, secure, and reliable. And you can withdraw your money at any time for your convenience. If the sports book isn't available in your state, don't forget about DraftKings Fantasy, where they're offering millions of dollars in prizes every week. Every year, I like to make a bet on who I think is going to win the Super Bowl at the end of the year, and this year, I've already made mine, locking in the Kansas City Chiefs to take home their second title in three years. To start playing DraftKings today, go ahead and hit that link down in the description and use our code JDPROD when signing up. It's been a long time since the Bengals were even competent. The last team to lose to the Bengals in the playoffs were the Houston Oilers. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. Cincinnati's starting quarterback was Boomer Esiason, who my generation mainly remembers more for being an analyst and hosting a radio show in New York. Since Esiason retired in 97, the Bengals have actually had some continuity at the position. They had a 15-year playoff drought that was eventually ended by Carson Palmer in 05. Palmer was a very good player during his time in Cincinnati, but he was constantly plagued by a poor roster and coach staff. The same issues that went on to hurt Andy Dalton for a decade, but he did lead the Bengals to five straight postseason appearances that they all lost, but, but still. It's still a mystery as to how Marvin Lewis kept the Bengals head coach job for 16 years despite never winning a playoff game, but sometimes you just expect nothing less from the Bengals. They realized that it was time for a fresh start on every front, bringing in a new head coach and quarterback. The Sean McVay hype sparked every team trying to find the next McVay, and the Bengals tried to do just that by bringing in the Rams quarterback coach, Zach Taylor. Taylor struggled through one season of Dalton before the Bengals were bad enough to secure the number one pick at the 2020 NFL Draft, a selection that they used to get Joe Burrow. It doesn't matter how bad an organization is. If you can get the right quarterback, things can turn around. And Burrow showed that potential at LSU. The Tigers had insane talent all around Burrow. And there was the thought that maybe Ed Orgeron Go Tigers. was able to put him in the right position. But based on how things have gone for LSU since, I'm going to have to disagree at least a little bit. The Tigers are a bit of a mess. And looking back, that 2019 season is really just an outlier. Joe Burrow only threw 39 passes in three years at Ohio State. After he realized that Dwayne Haskins was going to be named the starter, he opted to transfer out to LSU. Burrow showed some flashes in 2018, but he wasn't great. He only tossed 16 touchdowns to five interceptions, and he was more of a low-level game manager than anything, but that was soon to change. Burrow managed to come out of almost nowhere and put together one of the greatest college football seasons of all time. LSU beat Alabama and Georgia on its way to the college football playoff before knocking off Oklahoma to set up a national championship showdown against Trevor Lawrence and Clemson, who the Tigers dominated in a 42-25 victory. He will rue the very day he stole my kingdom from me! Burrow had 60 touchdowns on the year, an FBS record, and went on to win the Heisman by the largest margin of victory ever. Burrow was so good in 2019 that despite a lackluster college career before, it was still good enough to be considered the number one player in the class, being selected by the Cincinnati Bengals. Considering they had the first overall pick, you can probably imagine that the Bengals were still pretty bad last season, and they were. Burrow only won two of his first 10 career starts, but it didn't matter that Cincinnati continued to lose because their future franchise quarterback was showing promise 
but it did come to a screeching halt. In week 11, Burrow dropped back to pass before getting hit, and ultimately tearing his ACL and MCL and suffering damage in his PCL and meniscus, ending his season prematurely. Burrow had to spend all offseason rehabbing, but he bounced back big and was ready to go for the 2021 season. There's no doubt that the Bengals needed to work on their offensive line, especially after the injury, and they did at the draft, but that was after they decided to use the number five pick on Jamar Chase. If you have a young quarterback and want to help them be more comfortable, bring in somebody that they already have a relationship with, like their former college wide receiver. The Miami Dolphins went out and brought in Jalen Waddle for Tua Tungavailoa, and the Philadelphia Eagles brought in Devonta Smith for Jalen Hurts. All four played together at Alabama, of course. The Bengals decided to follow suit bringing together Chase and Burrow, the two stars that led LSU to a national championship. Chase joined a Cincinnati roster that had done a pretty good job at building around Burrow. Tyler Boyd is a solid number two guy on any NFL team, and he has two 1,000-yard seasons under his belt with Andy Dalton, but he got pushed to the side last year in favor of T. Higgins. Higgins has quietly been one of the best young receivers in the league. He was a stud at Clemson before being selected in the second round in 2020 and continued the trend as a rookie, going for over 900 yards. On the ground, the Bengals have one of the better rushers in the league, Joe Mixon. He dealt with some injuries last season, but nonetheless is a solid bell cow back that is perfect for Burrow to check down to or rely on in the run game. I feel pretty good about the future of the Bengals at this very moment. I wasn't too sure about Burrow coming out of the draft. Only one year of success does worry me but I do think that he has the stones to make it through any situation. There are a lot of questions still with Zach Taylor, but it's still so early in his head coaching career. If these young guns can continue to progress over the next few seasons, the Bengals could end up being a very dangerous team down the road. That being said, I do do think Joe Burrow needs to be looked at through a certain lens. In terms of raw talent, I do think he's a bit far off of his draft counterpart, Justin Herbert, but anybody that watched these guys in college or scouted them probably isn't that surprised by that. Burrow isn't necessarily a game manager. He's a dynamic player that can make any throw you ask him to, but not necessarily is going to do it all for your team. Burrow needs the right pieces around him, and that's supported by his timing of success at LSU. Herbert and guys like Patrick Mahomes are going to will their team to victory, and while Burrow has that potential, he's probably going to need help. If Taylor can figure everything out and Jamar Chase and T. Higgins dominate, the Bengals are going to be a team to seriously consider as a contender down the road. They already proved they're ahead of schedule by beating the Steelers although I'm not actually sure they're any good. This is a building year for Cincinnati, but the future looks good. Cincinnati Bengals fans have had a long, tough road. The fuck is that? It's been a while since any kind of success came out of Cincinnati, but there is new hope spurring with Joe Burrow. The Bengals have already put new shiny weapons around him, like Jamar Chase and T. Higgins, and Cincinnati has a chance to start really building for the future. Across Ohio, the Cleveland Browns have completely turned around their franchise behind Baker Mayfield. But now, it's time for Joe Burrow to do the same for the city of Cincinnati. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and click right here to subscribe to the channel. If you don't want to, or you already do because you're freaking awesome, go ahead and click right here and watch another video. Make sure to check us out on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. You know we're going to be posting NFL content all season long. And make sure to come back tomorrow for another video.